Welcome to Books and Cooks, Book Talks and Tastings. My name is Shweta Hetzler, and I am the director of the Sun Prairie Public Library in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. My goal is to highlight one new cookbook from our library's collection each month. We typically order about 20 cookbooks every month, so narrowing down my selection is one of the hardest things I have to do. So this month, I'm happy to feature Mother Jeffrey's Instantly Indian Cookbook, Modern and Classic Recipes for the Instant Pot by Mother Jeffrey. I chose this book for several reasons. First, Mother Jeffrey is an icon in Indian cuisine and is often credited for bringing Indian food to the American kitchen. Her cookbooks dispel the mystery behind Indian cooking, which can feel daunting and complicated. Mother Jeffrey's first cookbook, An Invitation to Indian Cooking, was published in 1973 and has been inducted into the James Beard Hall of Fame. Many people also know her from her television and film career, as she is also an award-winning actress. The second reason I picked this book was because Instantly Indian was published in 2019, and it's been on Library Journal's cookbook bestseller list. Third, Instant Pots are very popular, and many cooks are looking for ways to use their new appliance. The Instant Pot can serve as a pressure cooker, rice cooker, and slow cooker. Pressure cookers and rice cookers are very common in Indian kitchens. I actually don't have an Instant Pot, but was able to adapt the recipes easily to my pressure cooker and rice cooker. And lastly, the fourth reason I chose this book was because I wanted to feature some gluten-free recipes as well as some vegetarian recipes for my special guests and tasters that you'll be meeting later on. Instantly Indian includes over 70 recipes and is divided into seven chapters, soups, beans, vegetables, seafood, poultry and eggs, meats, and side dishes. The chapter on side dishes includes salads, raitas, and chutneys that don't actually require the use of the Instant Pot. These recipes accompany the dishes from the previous chapters. The introduction includes tips on the Instant Pot, and Mother Jeffrey warns the reader that the Instant Pot is not a magic pot. You still have to work. Tips include best settings for the best outcomes for the various dishes you'll find, as well as extra parts you'll want to have to complement and optimize your Instant Pot. The last section includes vocabulary, spices, and special ingredients that the reader will find useful, not just for the recipes in this book, but for Indian cooking in general. This section contains information on where to shop, how to select ingredients, and how to store them. The section also includes recipes for Mother Jeffrey's special spice blends, like her very popular garam masala. I wanted to introduce you to my friends and colleagues at the library that I'm lucky enough to work with. I have Lynn Montague here. Lynn, also known as Miss Lynn, is the head of youth services at the Sun Prairie Public Library. Next to Lynn is Nicole Beattie. Nicole Beattie is a library assistant at Circulation Services. She meets our and greets our patrons every day that she's here, helps them get library cards, and helps them check out books. Nicole also serves as secretary for the Sun Prairie Public Library Foundation. And Carol Kaufman, head of innovation and technical services, catalogs our materials that you'll find in our library and also helps a lot with the technology that you see at the library. Um, and I can let them talk a little bit about why I may have invited them here. <laughs> Well, I know Shweta asked me, partly because I have an Instant Pot that I don't use very much, <laughs> and I'd like to use it more. Also, because I'm gluten-free, I have a wheat allergy, so I try to eat it as gluten-free as possible because it doesn't like me. Um, and I believe these are all gluten-free dishes, so they I can sure are. eat them all. Yep, perfect. So. Yes, I'm happy to cook it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I am here because I am a big fan of Indian food and Shweta's cooking. Yes, <laughs> that's you. <laughs> I am also a big fan of Indian food and Shweta's cooking, uh, as well as being a vegetarian. Yep. So those were m many of the reasons that I chose to make these recipes, and I'm hoping to invite the entire staff to be tasters um, on this program. So today I made three traditional items from the book. Um, I chose them for their simplicity and comfort. The sagwali mung is a split pea lentils with spinach. Um, the tahiri, or peas palau, is basmati rice with peas, or a uh, rice pilaf. And salad kai raita is um, raita, or yogurt, with cucumber, tomato, and onion. I actually also added some cilantro because I feel like cilantro just adds a special freshness to all things Indian. Um, the dal, or the mung dal, is um, protein-packed, so many vegetarians can eat this as their main meal. It can also be served as a side with meat. 
Um, many folks like to eat it with the flat bread like naan or chapati, but um, today since we're going gluten-free, we're gonna have it with the peas palau. And um, raita, the yogurt dish, almost always accompanies every Indian meal. It just acts as a cooling agent and brings a freshness to it. So thanks for joining me today, and I look forward to another episode of Books and Cooks, Book Talks, and Tastings. So now these guys finally get to eat. Awesome. Thank you. Does this go on the rice? You can put it on How the rice. This go? Yes, so you can yeah. um, put up. You can set, kind of have it like chili if you want it, and put okay. a bed of rice and have that on top. You know, if you let it sit long enough and ate it at room temperature, it would probably thicken up a bit. So this is hot. It's hot or, yeah, it could be warm. And it's going to be spicy, too. The tarka, which goes on top of it, is um, oil that's seasoned with red chili and garlic. So you'll get that flavor in there. Um, so yes, I would say because of its consistency, you'll want to serve it on top of the rice. If you like lemon, you can squirt some lemon juice on it. And the raita you can have on the side. You can put it right directly on your plate, but I also bought you guys little bowls. So yes, so enjoy. This looks delicious. Yeah. Why don't you start us out? Oh, you can me go first. Or Absolutely. And then you happy to serve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, say. I love peas. That's a cinnamon stick. That's a cinnamon stick. Yeah, I wish folks could actually smell what we're smelling. Yeah. Here.